By 2050, the global population is predicted to reach 9 billion people. Many of today's leading food scientists are reaching retirement, and we need to attract the best and brightest minds to food science so that we can build a future workforce of diverse and talented professionals. That's why Feeding Tomorrow created Food for Thought. Through Food for Thought, we are positioning food science as a premier STEM field and providing students with information on how becoming a food scientist can make a difference in the world. Food for Thought is built on three foundational pillars. Educate, to position food science as a key STEM science. Engage, to implement pilot programs for future food scientists. And empower, develop learning resources. We hope that you will join Feeding Tomorrow as a partner in Food for Thought. I support Food for Thought because this is our next generation. This is how we will be successful. We have to continue to innovate. We need to support youth. All these things Food for Thought will do. If we are not getting involved in programs like this, we're really not going to have a strong and diverse pipeline in the future. And secondly, you know, a bit more altruistic, that uh, it's such an interesting and fun industry to be involved in. I am interested in becoming a food scientist because there will always be a need for food in the world. And it's food and it's science, so together it's perfect. I've learned more about different opportunities available in like the food science field, whether you want to go into product development or sensory. My experience here so far, I would tell everybody that it's super fun and it's very interesting and very informational. So it's so important for IFT and Feeding Tomorrow to create these programs to get kids interested because it's our future. It's our future for the world of food, not just here in this country, but globally. We know how important it is for us to have food science um, and people creating products, nutritious products, safe products for this booming population. We need solutions, we need ideas, we need people who can, you know, have better ways of processing food, better understanding of getting most nutrition out of the resources that we have. And who's going to do that other than food scientists? I really think it's important for other companies to get on board with Food for Thought and helping us build our talent pipeline. This is an opportunity for everybody to step up and help look at the future and the future growth for food. Now is the time. Thank you, Feeding Tomorrow. Thank you, Feeding Tomorrow. Thank you, Feeding Tomorrow. Thank you, Feeding Tomorrow. Thank you, feeding tomorrow.